lesson that we left off on Wednesday night, 1 Corinthians 9 and 27. Amen. 9 and 27. We're going to try to get to some scriptures tonight. Amen. Um, while we in this message on tonight, amen, uh, you know, looking over this message here, I have taken care of my inner man down through the years pretty well. And the reason why I said that because of my inner man can take a lot of pressure, it can take a lot of hardship, a lot of trials without me getting weak, without me getting uh, weary. Not only that, but my inner man stays uplifted. It stays encouraged. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. And uh, I would not let my inner man go down. No more I would let my body go down. Amen. Uh, amen. I brush my hair. I wash my face. I bathe. I brush my teeth. I whatever. That's the body. Now, I'm going to do the inner man. His, I'm going to get inner man his bad. That's what I'm saying, baby. All right, 1 Corinthians 9, 27, honey. Go ahead. But I keep under my body and bring them to subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should... All right, now, we left off on Wednesday taking care of the inner man. And uh, that we come to church to hear the word of God, amen, to feed and to nourish our spiritual man. Do you see what I'm talking about? When you come to church and hear the word of God, you are feeding yourself with the word of God. When you are watching the telecast, you are feeding yourself with the word of God. When you are watching the streamline, you are feeding yourself with the word of God. When you study the Bible, you are feeding yourself with the word of God. Now, this is why that many of us is weak and easy to get disencouraged because we are not strong within. We have, we have been neglecting our spiritual man from within. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. But if we take care, nourish our inner man, we'll be strong toward people. We'll be strong toward our flesh. We'll be strong toward man demons. Another thing I found out is what you put in you protects the out of you. You see what I'm talking about? Probably what does you mean? The more you nourish your inner man and, and put the word in you, that'll protect you from sickness. That can protect your body. That can protect your mind. That can protect your spirit, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I'm talking about? This is why many of us is weak. Easy to get disencouraged. Number one, we're not watching these telecasts. We're not looking at the streamline. We're not studying like we should. Some of us, we have come to church. And when we do come to church, we're not hearing what the Spirit is saying. You see what I'm talking about? The devil look for people that's not hearing from God. The devil look for people that's not studying like they should. The devil is looking for people's baby. Amen. That's not going to church like they should. The devil is looking for people that's not hearing the prophet. Do you see what I'm talking about? Probably why is he looking for people like that to disencourage, to beat them down, to make them give up, to 
will make them fall to temptation. Do you see what I'm talking about? The devil looking for folk that's not hearing what the spirit is saying. The devil love for you to come to church and go to sleep. You see what I'm talking about? This is why the devil's getting many Christians. They're not hearing what the spirit is saying. Amen. The spirit of God tells us how we can stay strong. How we can stay uplifted. You see what I'm talking about? See, when I tell you that I pattern myself after this Bible, I didn't pattern myself after this Bible just to get blessed by God, but I pattern myself after this Bible to know how to keep a sound mind, to keep the peace of God, to keep the joy of the Lord. Guess what, baby? It's all working. You see that? Do you see what I'm talking about? It's working. There's nothing that I pattern myself after the word of God that's not working in my life. Not one of them. Now, let me explain something to you, honey. It's 10, uh -huh. 10 different things All right. that I purpose in this Bible that I was going to do and follow what other people did in this Bible. Okay. 10 out of 10, it worked it. it, worked it. All right, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Right. One of them was good health. Another one was a sound man. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Other one was a good marriage. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, teacher. Yeah. Be right about it. That means a lot. Yeah, yeah. Here's another one, baby. Wisdom. You see what I'm talking about? And I pattern myself in the word of God. Did not fail me. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. Uh, but if we ignore them, what the word of God is saying, we ignore the spirit of God, then what would happen here will become weak. Oh, yeah. no this is why many people is bound. This is why many is going down in the spirit. They're not taking care of their inner man. Baby, let me explain something to you. I love all of me. I just don't love my hair. I just don't love my teeth. I just don't love a man, my clothes. Baby, I love my mind too. I love my spirit too. I love my soul too. Do you see what I'm talking about? Look how quick people, look how long we stay in the mirror. Primping and, and fixing our hair and, and at the beauty shop staying three and four hours at the beauty shop. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Putting all of this time on the flush that's passing away that can't help us at all spiritually all it could do is have us looking good to man but have our spirit looking bad to god you see what i'm talking about all right let's go to the to the word of god um let's go to jude 1 and 20. let's go to jude 1 and 20. Amen. Uh, Jude 1 and 20. Like I said, Wednesday night now, you are responsible of you. You got to keep you under the truth. You got to keep you in church. You got to keep you in prayer. You got to keep you studying the word of God. You got to keep your spiritual ears to hear what the spirit is saying. 
Let me tell you what the problem with a lot of people is. They are losing control of themselves. They losing control not only to their flesh, they losing control to their time. You running out of time, baby. In reality, really, you ain't running out of time. You just putting your time elsewhere. When it come down to God, you done ran out. You see what I'm talking about? I'm not going to lose control of my time because the same way I spend my money wisely, I'm going to spend my time wisely, baby. That's what I'm talking about. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to die like a fool died. I'm not going to live like a fool living. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to live defeated. I'm not going to live in sin. No, no, no. I'm not going to live in depression. No, I'm going to die as a sinner. Hey, sad. No, I'm not at all, my teacher. I know you're wrong. Go ahead, keep it now. All right, read for me, honey. Jude 1 and 20. But Jesus, building up yourself. Hold it. Who build you up? Yourself. Yeah. It said building up yourself you have to build up yourself you gotta keep yourself encouraged you got to make yourself strong baby you see what the word said here it said building up yourself that's what it said now Right. Nobody going to build you up. You got to get in the word of God and build up yourself. You got to come to church and hear what the spirit of God is saying to build up yourself. Let me explain something to you, honey. I never depend on nobody to encourage me. I never depend on nobody to edify me. I couldn't do it no way because too many folk around me was too weak to do it. They wouldn't help it themselves. You see what I'm talking about? Their spirit was too up and down. I knew, look, I knew they couldn't help me. That's why I helped it myself. I'm not going to live beat down. I'm not going to live in defeat. I'm not going to live in bondage. I'm not going to live in a messed up marriage. For what? I got to spend the rest of my life with this woman. Why live in hell with someone you got to spend the rest of your life with? I'm not going to do it. Go ahead, teacher. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I got to live the rest of the life with, 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 with co-pastor. You see what I'm talking about? I have to live the rest of my life in this flesh. I have to live the rest of the life with my man. Do you see what I'm talking about? And this is why here... Uh, when I saw other peoples out there, even folks saying they were saved. When I saw they was too depressed. When I saw uh, they was up and down. Guess what I did, baby? I'm not sure I turned to the word. For myself. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Since I turned to the word, feeding from the word of God. Amen. I was able and I felt it's like it's like putting gas in a car. Amen. You know when you put gas in your car, uh, you see your needle and your gas hand goes up. Baby, when I fed myself with the word of God, I felt my peace going up. I felt my joy going up. I felt my strength going up, baby. Let me tell you what the word of God does for you. It gives you spiritual quality. It makes you feel good about yourself, baby. It makes you feel strong, baby. It makes you feel victorious and make you be victorious. You see what I'm talking about? 
The word of God have you as a conqueror. It have you as a conqueror over your mind. Can nothing beat your mind down. Can nothing depress you. Can nothing worry you. Let me explain something to you, honey. If I was not taking care of my spiritual man with prayer, with the word of God, I'd be living like a lot of people are living in this world. Prophet, what are you telling me? You living different from a lot of people in this world? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I am. need to apologize for that because that's a good thing. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? I'm not living defeated. I'm not living depressed. I used to. You see what I'm talking about? When I was a child, I spake as a child. But when I became knowledgeable as a man, spiritual man, I put away childly things. This is where I'm, I'm trying to get you up to. To a point. To word your inner man. What's in you? Because see, what you got to understand. Step here, brother. This brother that you are looking at. The real him is on the inside. Yeah. All of his feelings yeah. is on the inside of him, yes, of this body. Yes, his thoughts is on the inside of his body. Yes, How he feel is on the inside of his body. And if I take a needle and stick him, his soul on the inside of his body is going to feel it. Yeah. Hold it. Thank you, brother. This is what man doesn't understand. Man are uh, touched by the inside of his body. How you feel is all on the inside of your body. Your depression, your worries, your sorrow is all done within you. Amen. Yes, you know what I'm talking about? Low self-esteem, high self-esteem, where you want to put it? It's done on the inside of a man. Now, I understand that. I understood that. That how I feel, uh, my self-esteem, all of that is done on the inside of me. I understood that. That's why that I purpose in my heart. Amen. To work on my inner man. Because this is where we live at. We live in here. You live within your body, not outside of your body. You see what I'm talking about? When you're in the hospital, if the doctor walk up and ask you how you feel, he's speaking on how you feel on the inside. I don't care which way you look at it, all of it is on the inside. Amen. Your pain, you feel it on the inside. Your depression, all oh, that's on the inside. Your troubled mind is on the inside. Now, let me explain something to you, honey. I understand this. This is why I'm, that I stripped it my inner man. Uh, where all the pain goes, where all the sorrow goes, where all the low self-esteem goes, where all the depression goes. I, 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 this is why I stripped in my inner man that I be strong enough to fight these things off where it won't affect me with them. Hold it, baby. Anything that don't affect you with them is not in your life. Because your life is in you. That's what I'm saying, baby. You like that? You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. That's why the inner man have to be stripped. That's what I'm saying, baby. Your life is in you. You see what I'm talking about? 
this is where you enjoy life at or you don't enjoy life that is within you. Who you shoot I'm talking about? Amen. Um, life is life is within us. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. If I suffer, I'm suffering from within. Everything is done within you. You see what I'm talking about? This is why. If you depress, if you in pain, uh, if you worry, mm -hmm. I don't care how much you brush your teeth, yeah. how much you wash the outside of your face, this body, yeah. I don't care how much you fix your hair, it won't take away that depression. Yeah. It won't take away the pain that's in your body because the hair's on the outside. Yeah. Washing the body's on the inside. Yeah. But when you take the word of God and take faith, that goes on the inside, baby, and is able to strengthen you where you can fight off of these depression where you can enjoy life, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let me say this here. This is how the devil makes a Christian life, tries to make a Christian life miserable in. You see what I'm saying? By attacking him from within. If you look at the scripture there, everything of Satan deals within a man. Go out and get seven other de demons and enter in. You see what I'm talking about? In the last state of that man is worse than the beginning. Now let me explain something to you, honey. When the devil was attacking my man, I was in here. I was living in hell. I was living miserably. I was living depressed. I was living sad. I was living so bad I was wishing to die. Now, all right, let's go back to Job here. Uh, the devil here uh, uh, attacked Job that Job would suffer within. He believed that if he could make Job feel the suffering within, that he could make him cuss God and die. Well, let me explain something to you here. Job would have cursed God, but he had built himself up. If you don't build yourself up, you will give up. And the devil, that's what I'm saying, baby. If you don't build yourself up, you would get disencouraged, baby. If you don't build yourself up, you'll fall to sin. Well said, teacher. You know your body. That is so now. Yeah. Now, let me explain something to you here. Go ahead. Uh, I understand the flush is weak. Uh-huh. I understand the flush is weak. Mm -hmm. I understand I'm strong. All right. Now, look, I have built myself up within mm -hmm. that I would not. I have built myself up within mm -hmm. that I know me. All right, go ahead. I would not fall. All right, that's it. That's it. You, that. you, that. you see what I'm talking about? Well, prophet, you don't know what you'll do. The flush is weak. That's the flush. What about my spirit? What about my faith, baby? What about the inner man? Hold it, baby. If the devil thought I was weak in that area, don't you think he'd have tried me with that by now? Don't you think that you shoot him? He know I'm not. If the devil believe he could trouble me, uh -huh. he'll do it. He'll do it. Yeah, yes, he will. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do, teacher. But by me done had the experience uh -huh. down through the years. Yeah. I done had the experience with Satan in battling him. 
I have had the experience with the Word of God. I have been studying the Word of God. Guess what I did, baby? I made a pathway for me. All right. You see what I'm talking about? I made a pathway. Probably what you mean. Let me explain something to you here, honey. Look, I've been dealing with God since 1979. I've been dealing with Satan since 1979, and I've been dealing with me uh, since 1979, the same part of me. Amen. Amen. I know the shortcuts. Amen. I know the scriptures to stand on. I know how to fight. Amen. I got a pathway here Amen. that if the devil attack, I know what to do. Amen. You see what I'm talking about? Hold it, baby. That when the devil get through attacking, I still, I'm still living holy. I still got my joy. I still got my peace. I'm still happy. I hadn't failed the temptation. Here's who I'm talking about. Amen. See. When I've been studying the word of God, except the word of God down through the years, I was building up my future. I was making my future strong. I was making my future wise. In this Christian life, you can't live day by day. You got to think ahead. You look. You cannot live day by well, Papa, I'm going to be strong day by day. No, you better study enough to make yourself strong this time next year. Not day by day, baby. You, up enough to deal with. Yeah, yeah. you see what I'm talking about? Hey, Amen. You better study enough. Accept the word of God enough. Hey, Amen. That this could last you for the next 10 years. Five years. You don't know what you're going to be up to. Now. You're right about it. Do you see what I'm talking about? When I read this scripture here, and I read this many of times, the Bible's telling me to build up myself. You see what I'm saying? I accepted the word of God. I just didn't read this Bible. I did what it said do. I built up myself. Hold it, baby. The Bible will work if you use it. But in order to use the Bible, you got to first have faith in it. You would not use nothing if you don't have faith in it. You see what I'm talking about? I have faith in the word of God. Do you see what I'm talking about? I use it all the time. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. When I pray, God, I'm standing on your word. I'm using your word. It hadn't failed me yet, baby. And it won't fail me. All right, read for me, honey. But you love it, building up yourself on your most holy faith. Hold it. Building up yourself uh -huh. on your most holy faith. All right. Let's break that down. Now, look at the scripture. Look at the terminology of the scripture. He said, building up yourself on your most holy faith. All right. You got faith, right? Am I right? Now, while you got faith, you want to build yourself up on your faith. Because you can have faith. And baby, if you not build up on your faith, you got to get strong on your faith. You got to get built up on your holy faith. See, let me explain something to you here. When I got saved, I had faith. I had to have faith to get saved. But guess what? Wait a minute. I had faith, but I had faith and still had man demons. Now, I had faith in salvation, believing that God was, Christ would save me from my sins. Um, 
but I wasn't built up on my faith. Yes, see what I'm talking about. That's how the devil entered into my mind. The devil didn't attack my man to get my man because I wasn't saved. He got my man because I wasn't built up. Look, now that you are saved and you in the faith, you got to build yourself up on your faith. If not, you can catch hell with faith. Okay. Mm. My God. Go ahead. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. I experienced that. Probably don't faith give you peace? Yeah, faith give you peace. But let me explain something to you here. Amen. If you got faith and if you not build up, amen, even though you got faith, Anything, if, if you're not built up, anything can get you disencouraged. Anything can take your eyes off of God. Anything can weaken you. See, just because you got faith don't mean you're going to stay strong. You got you to gotta build yourself up, baby. And that's what I couldn't understand in my early Christian life. I said, now, look. I'm saved, I got faith. Why does the devil torment my mind? Why I'm worried? Why I, 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 I wish I was dead? Wasn't built up. I didn't build up on my faith. But let me explain something to you, honey. From 1981 up until now, I built up on my faith. The same devil attacked me back then to try to attack me now. Why he didn't get me now? I'm built up on my faith, baby. You got to build up on your faith. That's why Paul said I laid the foundation. Another man built on it. You see what I'm talking about? Go ahead. You teach it good now. I know you're right. All right. How does you build up on your faith? You build up on your faith like the Bible said, faith comes by hearing. Yeah. Hearing by the word of God. Didn't the Bible say what to add to your faith? Add virtue, add, add praise, add virtue. Add deep things to your faith that you what? Yeah, you may abound. That means that you may continue on in the faith, baby. Yeah. Let me tell you what your problem is. Let me let me answer your prayer for you. <laughs> let me tell you what the problem is. You are saved. And you have faith. But the reason why you got these man demons, the reason why you're so depressed and your spirit changed like that, you're not built up on your faith. I mean, holy. If you die now, you'll go to heaven. Yeah, see, because you saved by faith. You got faith. But if you don't get built up on your faith, you'll be all men most miserably on this earth with your faith. In other words, if you doesn't build yourself up on your faith, you would have faith in God but live a miserably life. Do, do you see what I'm talking about? But if you build up yourself on your faith, there's a lot of things will not affect you. There's a lot of things you'll be able to fight off, baby. There's a lot of things, baby, you will conquer. There's a lot of things you will stop from coming in here. There's a lot of things you will stop from coming in your spirit from coming in here. You see what I'm talking about? Well, prophet, if you got faith, you're not supposed to worry. But why do you got a lot of Christians that worry then? Don't they have faith? Yeah, they got it. They built themselves up on their faith. I built myself up, baby. I looked out for me. 
I built myself up, baby. Yes, I did. Go ahead, Holy Ghost. I know you're right. You got to look out for you. Yes. And I wasn't built up on my faith. Anything made me cry. I was troubled. I was worried. I was living miserably. Wondering was I saved? I mean, I wonder was I saved? But my God, being saved, you got to live like this. Yeah. Go ahead, teacher. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I wouldn't build up, baby. Let me tell you what you got to do for you. Build yourself up. Build yourself up on your faith. How does you build yourself up on your faith? Three things. Number one, through prayer. You, got, you have to pray more. Number two, you have to hear the word of God more. I understand you come to Bible club, you got to study for yourself. Yes, see what I'm talking about? Number three, seeking after God. Yes, see what I'm talking about? You got to get to that point. See, when Paul told the church, uh, uh, move on to perfection, he was just, he was not just talking about perfection as far as living holy. Right. Moving on to perfection means that you're living victorious. Yeah. Prophet, living perfection is living holy. That's, that's one part of it. But guess what? If you live in holy and you depressed, you're not perfected. You have, you are not you saved, yeah. But your spirit man, because your spirit man ain't reached that point yet. Amen. Your state of your man hadn't reached to that state yet. Your man has not been renewed. Your man hadn't been transformed. Your spirit is still too up and down. You ain't reached that perfection state yet. Hold it! Look! 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 I have to continue to use myself because I I have already I have made it to that point. All right, you're right about yes, it. Yes, you what I'm talking about. I have perfected myself in God. Okay. Yeah. I have made it to that point. I, I say I'm perfected in God because I'm resting in God. Right. I don't have no worries. I have no sickness. I have no finance problem. I have no marital problem. I'm not depressed. I'm not cast down. I don't have no low self-esteem. You see what I'm saying? I have made it to that point. Hey, hey, now. All right, all right. Go ahead, teacher. But before I'm, I got to that point, I was just like a lot of you all. I was up and down. One day I'd be just as happy, and the next day I'd be so worried. I'd be crying. Amen. I was just like, before I got to that place of perfection in God, amen, my man wasn't per perfected. I would, anything in my man would worry me. Anything in my man would make me get angry. Anything in my man would change my spirit and personality. When my man was not perfected, anything can trouble my man. The devil can show me circumstances, I get worried. I get a letter in the mail, I get worried. Amen. The devil can say things in my mind and will worry me or put me in fear. My man wasn't perfected. My lifestyle would, but not my man. You see what I'm talking about? My lifestyle was perfected, but not my spirit. See, your lifestyle is perfected. You live in holy. But your spirit not perfected because your spirit is not. All right, let me show you something. Let me show you your life perfected, but not your spirit. Look at your life. You live in one life, right? Look at your spirit. You live in two spirits, up and down. You hold it, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Now, 
if you look at your lifestyle, it's perfected. You live in one lifestyle, and that's for God. It's not that you live in two lifestyles. It's not that you live in for God and living in sin. No. Uh, you live in one lifestyle, which means your lifestyle is perfected. All right, now, let's go to the man, and let's go to the spirit. All right, now, you look at your man and look at the state of your man. One minute, your man relaxed. The next minute, is trouble thinking on everything. You got two mans. Anything that's double is not perfected. If I had two wives, would you call me a perfect husband? You see what I'm talking about? Look at your spirit. You got two spirits. When you are perfected, you have one. Just like you got one lifestyle of living holy for God, you have one mind of peace. You have one spirit of joy. And you like that every day, all day. Now, you understand why Paul said, let us move on to perfection. He was not talking about the lifestyle that church I studied already was living holy. All right. They needed to be perfected in other areas. Let's deal with you, beloved. You're a good Christian. You live in holy. But you need to be perfected in other areas. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. You're a good Christian. You live in holy. But you need to be perfected in your mind. You need to be perfected in your spirit. This is why Paul said. Amen. That let us move on to perfection. Because holy to hell, baby. If I'm saved, mm -hmm. Christ saved at me. Uh -huh. But I still got fear. I'm still worried. Mm -hmm. Amen. My spirit is up and down. Although Christ saved me, I'm not perfected. That's true. That's true. Go ahead, teacher. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. And the reason why we're not perfected have nothing to do with God, has something to do with you. All right. You got to accept the word. You got you to gotta renew your mind. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Paul, hold it. Paul did not say God will move the church. He said, let us move on yeah. to perfection, baby. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Not laying again the foundation of repentance, yeah. of dead works. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of that was corrected. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have, that's why he said he don't have no need to keep preaching on that. The church had reached that point. But there was other areas in their lives that they was not perfected in their mind and in their spirit, baby. You see what I'm talking about? This is why I'm, that you have to continually to accept the word of God. This is why you have to continually to nourish your inner man that you would move on to perfection in other areas of your life. Hold it, baby. You done conquer sin, but you ain't conquered your man. You see what I'm talking about? You have conquered sin. Yes, yes. But you have not conquered your spirit. All right, break it down now. You right. Go ahead. Go ahead, teacher. Prophet, why would you say I've not conquered my spirit? Look how changeable it is. Anything you conquer can't run no more. I got them. 
<laughs> you see what I'm talking about? It can't run no more, baby. Here's your problem. You got to work on that part of you that's not perfected. Jesus did his part. Amen. He gave you salvation. He gave you exactly what your faith asked for. Now, the rest of it here as far as uh, renewing your man, perfecting your man and spirit, you got to work on your inner man. That's why he gave you his word. Amen. To perfect your man. This is why the Bible said, be ye. Ye mean you. Be ye transformed it by the renewing of your man. You see that? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look, studying the word of God, I understood as a Christian what God had done and what I have to do. Now, notice I use two words there. Done and do. After God saved me, he don't do no more. That's why I said after what God have done. That that's it. He done did his. He done saved me. I'm out of sin. My name is in the book of life now. I'm holy. I'm saved. God done did his. He done took me out the world, baby. He done, he done, he done born again me. Now, it's what I got to do. It's what I have to do after what he have done. You see that? Let me tell you why I'm, mm -hmm. that you have to study him, that you have to nourish your inner man uh -huh. and be responsible of your inner man mm -hmm. uh, to bring that part of you into perfection, your mind, your spirit. That's true. Amen. Um, this is why the Bible tells us. What it say? Uh, to complete those things that are lacking. All right, it does, it does. Go ahead. Yes, you what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. The Bible said, rather, let it be healed. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? What I didn't understand 30 years ago, I understood and I understand it now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you what I'm talking about. Yes, I, do. I knew why the devil had my spirit up and down. Okay. I know why now my mind was a state that it was in. Okay. I was saved, mm -hmm. but my mind nor my spirit mm -hmm. was not perfected. Okay. Go ahead. There was something I had to do mm -hmm. when God gave me his word yes. and told me to apply it. Okay. There was an act of him telling me, start taking my word and perfect your mind and perfect your spirit. I believe that. Ever since I did that that kept the devil out, I've been living a blessed life, peaceful life. Don't nothing worry me now, sister. Don't nothing bother me. I done reached a turning point in my life. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? I done reached a turning point. I'm not talking about the turning point as far as being saved. I'm talking about the turning point of having a new man. Or having a new spirit, baby. That's what your problem is. Your mind and your spirit is not perfected. You say your lifestyle perfected. Not your spirit. There's something, not your mind. This is something you got to work on. This is something here that you got to keep studying the word of God and keep accepting the word of God. Stay in spiritual contact with God in prayer that you will meet, that you will get to that place of perfection. You see that? I mean, you know, people read in the book of Corinthians 
Paul said, you know, um, uh, moving on to perfection and accept. Oh, well, they, he's talking about lifestyle. No, he's not. That church was saved, baby. That church already living holy. Not lit. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Yes, yes, okay. So, you got a lot of Christian baby. They are saved. Mm -hmm. They live in holy. Yes. They dedicated to God, but they man is still weak. All right, that's true. That is true. Their spirit is still touchy. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Still changeable. You know you're right. Go ahead, tell it now. Go ahead, teacher. This is why the devil keep. Uh, Attacking your mind, yeah. you know the man is not perfected. Go ahead, teacher. And sometimes the devil keep attacking the man to see has it reached at that point. This what I didn't understand um, uh, once before. Mm -hmm. What I didn't understand, but now I'm getting a revelation from God. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, teacher. Okay, now I didn't know, but now I'm I'm hearing it from the Spirit of God. I'm getting the answer from God because I was wondering that. Now, I wondered. Now, when the devil attacked me in about seven different things in my man, I conquered him. Mm -hmm. I overthrew him. Yeah. I wanted to know why 25 years later he coming back with the same thing. Mm -hmm. He coming back to see is it still perfected? Check the door. Check the lock. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I believe that. I believe that. Yes, see what I'm saying? But guess what, baby? I feel good about myself. Still there. All areas. It's tight. Okay. Because holy, baby, down through the years, I've been giving a lot of time to God. I've been giving a lot of time to studying the Word of God. I've been giving a lot of time to prayer. I've been giving a lot of time and seeking after God. And guess what, baby? It paid off. It made me the man that I am tonight. Make you the woman that you need to be in Christ. Prophet, I'm saved. I understand. But there's some more woman you that God wants you to that you need to. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you're not a woman. You are a woman. You're very mature woman. You're so beautiful woman. But guess what, baby? The woman need to be complete. The man, good man. But the man need to be complete. Look, and the reason why I said that, because look, back in 1981, I was a good husband. I was a good dad. But I was worried. I was depressed. I was sad. My spit up and down. I was a good man, I was a good man, but I had to make a, this other part complete, my mind and my spirit. Amen. Don't you see what I'm talking about? And I realized that, and I understood this is something that God don't do, that God did his. I can look at my lifestyle and see that God did his part. You could look at your lifestyle and see that God done did his homework on you. God done did his. Now, baby, you got to do yours. You see what I'm talking about? You got to do yours. Because if you don't do yours, and God have did his, you would have salvation living miserably, living in depression, Bother with man, demons every day. Spirit up and down, trouble. That's not suffering for Christ. That's a spirit taking advantage over your weakness. That's all that is, baby. That the baby, 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 baby. That's not no weakness. <laughs> That's a spirit. That's taking the advantage over your weakness. I have seen the enemy take the advantage 
over my weakness. He tried to lay me out through my weakness. He tried to make me give up through my weakness. He tried to make me fall through my weakness. He made me live all men most miserably through my weakness. He tried to take the advantage over my weakness. Prophet, have you experienced weakness in your life? Yes, I have. And the enemy tried to wear it out. This is why I did what the Bible said. Let the weak say I'm strong. Strip the those thing that's ready to die. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Go ahead, I got you. You see what I'm talking about? You teach it good now. Because I have experience with the enemy and I told God in prayer, I said, Satan have no mercy on my weakness, God. I got to get strong in this area. You see what I'm talking about? The devil have no mercy. He's trying to wear me out through my weakness. I have to get strong. Amen. Hold it, baby. You wonder when you you wonder when you're gonna get rid of the devil? When you get strong in that area. That's when you that's when you're gonna get rid of the devil out of your mind when you get strong in your mind. That's when you get the devil out of your spirit. When you get strong in your spirit, baby. You see that? Because long you stay weak, the devil gonna wear you out. He gonna wear your little man out, baby. <laughs> he gonna wear your spirit out, baby. You, ain't gonna, baby. you ain't gonna never be happy that long. You'll be happy for a day, but all the four out of four out of seven, you gonna be depressed. He gonna try to wear it out, baby. That's why I'm telling y'all, you gotta get strong in that area, baby. You gotta bring that up to perfection, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God! <laughs> you see that? I do that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Look, it's no sense of sitting around and worrying about it and keep praying about it. You keep praying about it. You've been praying about it for years. You still got it. Same with me. We had the man deemed. I, I was praying for three years. Still had it. God knew I didn't know any better. God had to come to me himself and gave me the 20th Psalm and told me to stand on his word. You see what I'm talking about? He had to because I, I didn't have no pastor. No. And, and you can see the devil that showed me no mercy. He tried to run me to the middle place. See what I told God Pastor? He tried to run me crazy. You see, he didn't have no mercy on my, on my mind. That the same thing with your man. He have no mercy on your man. That devil trying to wear your man out, baby. You see what I'm talking about? That devil trying to wear your spirit out. That devil don't want you happy at all. No reason. I know you're right. But you got to work on it. That's why, look, you got to get rid of him. Okay, because he ain't going to And the only way you're going to get rid of the devil, you got to get strong in those areas, All baby. Right, that is so, my that is so. And we get strong mm -hmm. by studying the word of God, uh -huh. by putting faith in the word of God, through prayer yes. and seeking after God. You're right about it. Yes, you are right. Prophet, seek enough that God make you strong. Yes, it does. Look what the word said. It says, seek the Lord and his strength forevermore. That's what the word said. It says, seek the Lord and his strength. That'll make you strong. That'll make you strong, yes, baby. Will. Yes, will now. I may be a little guy, but I'm tough, baby. <laughs> you didn't say that. I may be a little guy, but I'm a strong one, baby. You see what I'm talking about? That is so, my partner. That is so. Well said. Yes, you are now. <laughs> it ain't look the size of the body. It don't mean nothing. It was on the inside. What's count, baby? You see what I'm talking about? Amen. The quality's on the inside of the product. 
You see what I'm talking about? That's what I'm saying, baby. No. You see what I'm saying? Look at David. David was a short boy. Yeah, yeah. Shepherd boy. Yeah. But look how strong the man was. Yes, he was. Amen. Look how, look how wise he was. Yes, he was. The yes. quality was on the inside of David. That's why he whooped Goliath. All right. Set up. You see what I'm talking about? It wasn't no giant that whooped Goliath. It was a short one. Hey. But the quality of God was that, baby. That's it. Right. Inside. Look how short I am. Look how much I'm running this devil. All right. That's a good thing, teacher. Look how small and short I am. Look, I keep overthrowing Satan, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Go ahead, honey, It ain't got nothing to do with the size of the body. Look at some of these big men, all depressed, all drugged up on drugs, all on wine. Amen. Beat down. The body don't mean nothing. Nothing on the inside. Oh, say that now. No, you see what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. No. You see what I'm talking about? Now, let me explain something to you, honey. I studied David too. I whooped Goliath. See, you got to understand him that although God dealt with David how to whoop Goliath, but you got to see what caused God to start dealing with David and telling David how to whoop Goliath. David had quality in him, some his brothers didn't have. His brother was tall men with long hair, handsome. David was a ruddy boy. Amen. He was a, 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 a shepherd. But he had quality of faith. He had quality of acknowledging God. He had quality of believing God, baby. You see what I'm talking about? All right, here's the second thing. Where do you get the quality at? What I've been preaching on all the time, the word of God. Yes, you know what I'm talking about? That's what the quality is at. Look, I didn't find no more than what you read. Ain't nothing new under the sun. I didn't find nothing no more than what you read. Yes, you know what I'm talking about? And what I did, I looked out for my inner man. Uh -huh. Guess what I did? Go ahead, tell me. I put the quality mm -hmm. in me. Yes, yes. That made me a big man, spiritually All strong, right. All right. victorious, mm -hmm. blessed. Yes. May I go on? Yes, yes. I put the quality of the word of God in me. I put the quality of faith in me. I put the quality of prayer in me. I got a good prayer life with God. Oh yeah. Go ahead, teacher. Go ahead now. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, look. Let me say this here. Let me talk on this prayer life with God. You talking about a sweet prayer life. Oh man, look. If you would, if you was, I'm just saying, if you was in my house and you would hear me pray, you will run downstairs. It would touch you. Yeah. I have a good prayer life with God. You would think I got a basement full of people down there. If you come to my house and didn't know I was praying, you'll say, y'all got a lot of company downstairs. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? But I have a good prayer life with God. You see what I'm talking about? These are the qualities that I'm putting within me. Another quality I'm putting within me is the anointing. You see what I'm talking about? Look, now I look at my life, nothing, nothing, nothing can go wrong. Satan attack, but like a blast against the wall. When there was time, when my, when my mind and my spirit weren't perfected, when he attacked, everybody knew it. My wife would know it. People would know it. And just like now, if your mind is not perfected and your spirit is not perfected, when the devil is attacking your mind, everybody in the church will know it. Everybody in your house will know it. Huh? Amen. When you got finance issues, everybody will know it. 
you ain't got to say nothing. When you got marital problem, everybody will know it. When you are worried, when you depressed, when you got demon troubling your mind, everybody will know it, baby. That's when the mind and the spirit not perfected. You see that? I do that. Go ahead, teacher. <laughs> but when your mind and your spirit is perfected, Baby, Satan could be fighting the hell out of you, but it won't affect you at all. People look at you and you're still the same. You're still happy. You're still praising God. You're still at peace. But you, you, you won't show no gift. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. But you got people, see them, man and spirit that's not perfected. You could tell. When something is bothering them, yeah. you can tell when they trouble. You can tell when they battling. You can tell when they got mad demons in them. You can tell when the devil kept them up all night. Look, I can look at people's right now. I can tell you what you battling. Uh, uh, I mean, no sense of me telling you. With me telling you what you about, it ain't going to help you. But if you fight it and build yourself up, that would help it. What, you waiting around for me to tell you? That ain't going to deliver you me telling you. I'm not telling you no more than what you know already. That's enough. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. I don't need to prophesy and tell you, uh, sister, uh, I see you troubled in your spirit, but everything going to be all right. I don't need to tell you that. Y'all know you're troubled. They don't see me telling you going to be all right. How can I tell you you're going to be all right? You got to make yourself all right. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Look. In this Christian life is what you call self-support, self-effort. You got another word, you got to do it for you. I can only give you the word. You got to do it for yourself. Jesus told the man get up and walk. He didn't give him a cane. No, he, he had 12 apostles with him. He did not tell not one of the apostles to help the man up. He told him to rise up. You see what I'm talking about? That's what, that's what I'm saying, baby. Because God then gave his word. Yeah, the God. God then gave you his word. He done told you what to do. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. He told Peter to drop his net. Jesus didn't take the net and put it in the water for him. He told Peter to do it. Let me explain something to you. The reason why that God wants you to do it, because when you go to do it, that's your work of faith. You see what I'm talking about? That's your effort. That's your work of faith. You see, there are a lot of things God would not do. That If God do it, it won't help you. I mean, if God do it, how can God ever see your faith? You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Your faith would never increase like that. If God do everything, or if people do everything, your faith never get increased. But if you go to do yourself, amen, you can, you, 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 you start doing this, you start doing that, you start, then you look back over your life and say, ooh, look what I done conquered, baby. I can, I can do all things through who? Christ. That's strictness in me. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your and that's nothing but self-confidence. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Now, and this is what I'm telling you all. This is another thing here. That by me studying the word of God, this gave me self-confidence of me. Look, I got faith in Christ. I got faith in God. 
But now this giving me self-confidence in me. You know why it's giving self-confidence in me? Because with the help of the word of God, I see the battles I'm winning. I see the devils I'm keeping away, baby. I'm seeing the peace of man I'm having. I'm seeing the blessed marriage I got. I'm seeing the joy of the Lord. I'm seeing with me taking the word of God that I'm handling this thing. There ain't nothing but self. It put more self-confidence in me. Amen and in Christ, baby. Well, prophet, well, prophet, God get all the glory. He does, but I have to get some of it because Paul got some of it. He said, I can do all things through Christ. I and Christ. You see what I'm talking about? God gave me his word to do it. I put my faith in this word. did something now I didn't sit back helpless and wait on God ah, Paul said I could do all things through Christ he put himself in there baby yeah. he was glad to do it he was glad to do it he stood on the word of God he took God let me explain something to you honey God wants you to have self confidence in you God wants you to have self-confidence in you, baby. Because, let me explain something to you. If you don't get self-confidence in you, this world going to beat you down. If you don't get self-confidence in you, baby, this world going to beat your man down. This world going to beat your spirit down. If you don't get self-confidence in you, your own wife could beat you down. Your own husband could try to beat you down. If you don't get self-confidence in you, people itself will beat you down. If you don't get self-confidence within yourself, your own man that the devil is attacking will beat you down. Most people are beaten down through their man. You know why? They have no self-confidence that they can conquer their man. They have no self-confidence they can push these spears out of their man. Baby, I could do all things through Christ. Remember that. That's, I done got to that point, baby. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I feel good about myself. I feel, baby, I done went past feeling like a million dollars. I feel like a billion dollars, and I'm on my way to a trillion. Money, 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 money in the spirit, baby. Don't you want to feel like a billion dollars? I know you do. You're going to have to get to that point. You got to get to that point. Amen. Get it. You, get, get, just, you just can't keep laying there. Get in that Bible. Seek after God. Amen. You got to get to that point, baby. The devil was robbing me out of my life, and I was a Christian. Not no more, baby. I done made it a Canaan. I'm in the prom. I done whoop my giants, baby. I done beat my Amorites. I done beat my Hittites. I done beat my Jebusites. I done beat my Philistines. You see what I'm talking about? I done conquered my giants. Now I done took over their land. I'm enjoying the goods, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you see that? I'm in the promised land, brother. <laughs> that was a time I was in the wilderness. No more, baby. I went through my wilderness. I done conquered my giant. Hey man, them Amorites came back, my man. I conquered them Amorites, baby. Them Philistines, baby. Them Jebusites, them Hittites, them, hey, them Amorites, and all of them came against me. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah. They try to stop me from getting to my rest and the place yes. 
that I'm in in God. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, teacher. I made it. I did that. I did that. <laughs> now, this is why I'm, I'm telling you how to make it. Yeah. I'm telling you how to build yourself up. The devil cut a deal when you first got saved. Let me tell the devil say it about you. Okay, you gonna get saved? He knew your man wasn't per you know your man wasn't to perfection. Nor your spirit. He couldn't stop you from getting saved because your faith saved you. But he said, okay, I'm gonna give him hell. I'm gonna give him hell in the places that they are not perfected at. It will be the same way in your flush. If you're not perfected in your flush, you'll keep falling over the same sin over and over again. Right now. Look at some folk, they keep falling over the same sins over and over again. Because they're not perfected in that area. You see what I'm talking about? Hey Amen. Now look, you, you know, you, you know, you sit back and you know, you want other people to do it. Amen. You want prayer to do it. Prayer's a request. Prayer would do it, but prayer telling you how you could do it. Prayer did do it. Prayer did do it. Prayer told you what to do. So prayer did it. Prayer did it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to live better now? You going to mother, 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 mother. Are you going to live better now? Yeah. You, everybody got an empty life to live better. You going to live better? Yeah. You going to live better and live better? All right. You going to live better? Amen. Look, grab your neighbor by the hand and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm starting tonight. I'm going to live better. You gotta work on it, baby. You gotta work on life, baby. You gotta work, work to live better. See, when I see you happy, that, that encouraged me. I'm already encouraged, but it encouraged me toward you. Not toward me, I'm already encouraged. It encouraged me toward you. Because see, sometimes I hate to see y'all looking sad. I don't wanna see my members looking sad. I, I love you about your feelings but the, 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 but I have did my part I gave you the truth I gave you the word you got to do it for yourself position heal thyself look if I could do it for you I would but ain't the one thing I can do for you give you the truth amen but you but faith that's where you got to come in at. Yes, see what I'm talking about? I love coming to church. See all y'all happy. And, and, and stay happy. Let me, let, let me paraphrase that. I like to see all y'all stay happy. Stay joyful. Stay with a peace of mind. I want to see all y'all blessed. I wish above all things that thy may prosper and be in good health. That's what the word <laughs> You see what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. I want to see it. I can't do it for you. But I can tell you how to do it. All right, look, look what God did to me. God didn't come down to get the devil out by man. He gave me the script and told me to stand on it. Told me to quote it. Once I did what God told me to do, look at my life change. My life, my life changed for the better, baby. God didn't do it. He told me to do it. He gave me his word. That's what I'm telling you. I can't do it for you. I give you his word and tell you to use it, baby. Apply it. All right, God bless you.